Right at birth, we had to make a decision whether we wanted to save him and take the chance. I was told that he wasn't going to walk, talk. I mean, every day we wake up, we're lucky that he's here. Isaiah comes to school every day, and he wraps our community together. People want to know his story. They want to be around him. Isaiah doesn't stop. Constantly involved in community service and anything you ask him to do. At school, I don't even hang out with my other friends. I just chill with him all day. He's himself. He's not scared to be rejected. Isaiah's been offered a job for a few years now. He doesn't want it, and it wasn't going to bring quality of life. That trach wasn't coming out. He wouldn't eat by mouth. I know he has so much locked up in there. He'll walk around the house making beats in the car, on the table. Just some of the words that he wants to get out. I was about to say, I'm a rapper. Everything has a big Gotti logo on it, massive. <laughs> and I definitely agree with you that, uh, you know, you should always rise to be able to do what you want and, you know, never let the opinions of others hold you back from achieving your goals. And um, I'll take you as the same type of person and, and relate to, you know, the words that you have on a piece of paper. He's got a voice with a pencil. I've read just a couple lines and I teared up, so I know what he wrote is going to impact a lot of people. Describe those feelings of knowing that Isaiah has all that stuff locked up inside of him. Now, man, we in there. 